We shall game. We All right. fucking shall, boys. Matt, how are you feeling? I'm good. Conscious? Okay. Excellent, because I'm going to put you on the spot in, like, two minutes. Um, by which I mean I'm not going to put you on the spot at all. Um, <laughs> Go for it, I am recording. Prepared. You're recording? Yes. <laughs> okay, well, you know how it is. Um, who wants to recap, a little, a little spicy recap of everything that happened from Pickle Jar to the end of last session? Uh, Pickle Jar happened, we wrapped up the conversation with the former Douglas, um, Janela and Garvold were sort of running, um, Farmer Douglas, let, let's not have a panic attack right now. Farmer Douglas was slightly stressed about the rabbits, yes. Which is very fair. Um, some of the ground around the rabbit warren was fucked up and mucky, but when Aya tried to dig up the grass to try and keep it, uh, try and prevent it from spreading, there was nothing there, and I don't know if that means it just, like, evaporated into nothing if it went invisible we don't know it doesn't really matter it was oh, just bare matter. earth oh it's going to matter significantly but it can but i cannot afford for it to matter right now um the bird does time. not need anxiety it is illegal to give a himbo anxiety um anyway yes carry on we had we had back to town um I can't remember. The conversation with Sud happened like the session before the rabbits, right? Yes. Um, okay. What do you? What do you mean? Oh yes. I was conversation one on one with Sud. Had that. Yeah. Um. So Victor has an errand to run once to get back to town, and I asked to go alone because she's like, I need to talk to someone with a brain cell, and uh, I don't want to talk to Fern quite yet. She, she basically did a mental coin flip on which of the two people who know about weird esoteric magic bullshit who are not Soot, who she's already spoken to, she wanted to talk to her and went, the phone conversation is going to be more difficult. So mm, what was it on the errand? Um, they had a bit of a talk about some of the cosmology, some of the stuff that's going on. Um, and Victor bought a candle, and then when Aya said, hey, I need to, I actually want to talk to Fern after this, uh, Victor gave her the candle, because he's like, I don't have to be vulnerable now. Oh shit, that means that it doesn't, that, that I have not made this amends. Ah, oh, fuck. Um, how smart. But, so, Aya and Fern have a bit of a conversation. It is strange. Um get some possible things oh no sorry there is a uh, brings up with the group that hey adder is still gooped and we discover that we're probably waiting at least a week in camlin before um sperms even potentially gets back to us if not shows up <clears throat> um sort of discuss that with the group offer to keep an eye on it and then Aya and Fern have the conversation. Aya gives the candle. Um the conversation goes okay. It doesn't go great, but it goes okay and it doesn't actively make things worse. And immediately after Aya leaves, Fern's vision grays out for a second. That's yep. fine. Yeah, it's fine. Why would you have a concern about that? I don't know, it's a mystery why I would have a concern about that. Mm -hmm. Fern overall is looking a little different. Um, Adder overall is looking just about the same, but apparently has a little goop hiding in there. You guys have, in a closed pickle jar, a goop rabbit. This is still semi-alive? Well, you like... haven't checked on it lately. Um, and it is about six o'clock in the evening-ish. Sure, that's the number that I had in my brain. That's the number we're sticking with. Um, the boys were taking a nap, um, and I'm gonna circle back real quick to Garbled. Because Perfect. when the rest of the party was like, we should get back to town, you were like, I should stay and chat with my good friend, Farmer Douglas, for
for just a moment or two. Um, because, you know, they'd, exp you know, the party had talked like, hey, if the rabbit problem continues to be a problem, um, let us know. Um, we've cleared out what we can. Just keep us updated. Um, and, and Farmer Douglas had agreed to all of that. And then, um, you had to, you were drinking some tea with, uh, Farmer Douglas, and it would have been very rude to leave before your tea was finished, and the party had no, knew their own way back to town, so they decided to head off, um, back, and you stayed around with one of the Farmer Douglases for just a little bit longer. Um, and Farmer Douglas, while you're sitting there after the party leaves, does to you just sort of... Those folks seem like a real proper experts on this sort of thing, huh? Uh, yes, they do seem to be. Um, I'm kind of interested in them. They seem like they're really onto something here. Do you know them super well, or are they just sort of, you know, kind that passes through and passes out again? Um, <laughs> Pretty much, uh, not at all. Um, I met them yesterday. Yes, yesterday. I know how time works. Ah, what's time anyway? Well, you just, uh, You keep an eye out your own your own place for, for things like this. I mean, I know a couple little rabbits out here in the country don't mean much, but, you know, what if y'all get some infested rats in there at, in the tavern or something? That's that's no good. That's a big trouble right there. You, you keep a good eye out, all right? I think the ta- I, I do think the tavern will be fine, but I do appreciate the warning. Again, let us know if there's anything we can help with, because if things go well, I might be going on a little adventure myself. Alright. Well, you'll be missed around here. Just, <laughs> you are always just such a, such a lively, cheerful presence. Uh, and I do appreciate that. In an evening. If you end up going, but you know, I will, I will, I will talk to you first if anything, anything so comes up. No worries, Farmer Douglas. Appreciate you coming out here. Anytime. You take care now. This is just the forever goodbye where it's just like... Yep. <laughs> they, they Midwestern goodbye for the next 10 to 15 minutes. Yeah, absolutely. Um, a lot of knee slapping, a lot of, well... <laughs> and you should head out probably and I want to keep you in a, in a circle for 10 to 15 minutes and then <laughs> you are free to head back to town as you desire um, you have work to do tonight um, you haven't had a chance to talk to um, your boss at Sweetwater the owner um, since, since you left her a note um, yeah but you have a little bit of time before any shifts start. Um, if you have any anything you'd like to do before then, otherwise, we will fast forward again back to the evening. Yes, I, th I think Garvold would not want to put off that conversation. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So the sooner that happens, the better. Yeah. You can easily, you know where to find her this time of day, um, and and indeed, as you're heading back to town, uh, someone lets you know, uh, somebody who sees you is just like, hey, Garvold, Gerd is looking for you. I, yep, yeah, I thought as much, thank you, and just right. rushes. Right. You can, you can go meet Gerda at, at her house. And when you, you, you have a key, you can let yourself in. You always have, you always will probably. 
Um, when you come in, Gerda looks at you. She is sitting at her dining room table, holding your note. Um, and she says, Interesting people and interesting business, huh? Yeah, um, I didn't have too many, um, no, give up on sentence. Um, yeah, um, I, I was wondering about the other night and I caught some people, uh, mildly caring about a body and oh. then I found out that they're doing a mild investigation into this weird goo situation. I'm not sure the details, but I... It's something that seems important. Mm. Alright. Mm. I mean... I know it's not a hundred percent on task, but I think it might be for the greater good. No, I'm... if you if this is important to you, it's what you should do. I just this I don't want you getting into anything bigger than it's worth more trouble than it's worth for the risk. I mean, some, I think sometimes you have to make big strides to have a big impact upon changing things. All right, that sounds like some shit I'd say, okay. It is probably a direct quote from somewhere. Well, it's, <laughs> yeah, figures. All right, yeah, I can cover your shifts. Um, I don't have anyone to cover the bar tonight, though, so that's still that, on you. Yes, Everything that, else, though, I can do. That is completely understandable. Thank you very much, and I am sorry to put this on you. No, it's, no. it's fine anyway. But I will I say... When I, when I have to make appearances, it will add to the mystery. Right. Right. It'll be good. Just, if this is, if this is, I know, big strides, bold changes, I know that's all, but be careful with whatever this is. Yeah? I'll, I will keep you in the loop. You know that. Please do. And trust me, I always know where home is. Good. I have to iron my costume. Oh, you don't keep it maintained all the time? It's in a... It's in the bottom of a chest in my closet. Well, maybe. See, I, I sort of figured, I sort of figured that I'd, I'd, I'd handed it off to someone and they were gonna, they were gonna yeah. handle it from here on out. Yeah. I, yeah, I can accept that. <laughs> Alright. I'm not mad. You... I know. You're good for tonight? At Sweetwater? Of course. All right. Then I've got to chase people sick, down otherwise because... Otherwise I'd have her cover for you, but, uh... <laughs> she's got food poisoning or something. Interesting. But... Okay. Mm -hmm. Well... You want... You want a snack before you go? Oh, always. 
All right. She's gonna make you a snack. Um, and, Gobble and will greatly enjoy a snack. Little, little cheese and crackers and salami plate, you know how it is. Yeah, in this totally normal moment where nothing is revealed. There's th this is a normal conversation between between two people. Um, and you are able to do any errands you might need to do and um, then head to work. Yeah. yeah. Imagine having a job in this economy. Like Imagine having a job in this economy. <laughs> By God, you do. <laughs> All right. Now, for the rest of everyone, it's six, seven in the evening. Mm-hmm. Um, mm -hmm. on Serenith the 26th. Y'all have some goop. Danela, uh, went away around, uh, sometime during the conversation with Farmer Douglas, and she hasn't popped back up yet, but she always comes back. Um, what is everybody up to? Victor is stewing. <laughs> I, I bet she is. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting dressed. I'm getting I dressed up. I bet you are. <laughs> <laughs> Awake from nap, um, probably maybe reading to Adder? I don't know, he, I feel like Sid at some point has probably bought a new novel. Uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. It's a nice one, nice and cheesy. Oh yeah. God bless. That's gay. <laughs> yeah. Um, Adder is <laughs> happily being read to. <laughs> I have a couple of letters to send. Okay. She can easily send them uh, via the post office. Yeah. Um. And, and since she's out, she might see if Naga's Arcana is still open at this hour. She was six. Like six. six. But... What? This, this leads to an interesting question for me. Mm. Uh, you... Do you go to the post office first or to Naga's Arcana? Uh, post office first and then Naga's Arcana, because she knows the post office is at least... Uh, at least has like a box you can put your overnight mail in. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What letters are you sending? What was that? What letters are you sending? Uh, both of them are basically the same letter. Um, it is, uh, there is one to either, um, probably one to Pierre and Cerise, and watch someone else who I'm not sure of, but it, it's someone else who's in the support group kind of sphere, but probably travels more. Um, and it's mostly just, it, it basically sums out as a, hey, I'm alive. Apparently I'm gonna be in some terror for the next week. Um, Camlin. Camlin, sorry, I got it wrong. Apparently I'm gonna be in Camlin for the next week. Possibly a bit more, but a week is pretty much guaranteed. Alive, doing well. The one to either does include... There isn't detail, but there's sort of like... Some of a rundown of the weird shit. And I think it's just... I, I think that bit is that sort of run down on some of the weird shit. Like, it's not in-depth, but it's sort of an overview. It, it is sort of ended with, is this normal for people? <laughs> God bless. Excellent. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's going to send those three letters off. But they're all roughly the same, except that I is a bit longer because it has, you would not believe the last couple of months I've had. Yeah, yeah, naturally. Okay, well, cool. good to know. You are able to get those sent out for the price of, I don't know, a 
couple gold. I just, I just, yeah. I just don't price things. I just vibe check it. Um, if I ever price yeah. something that isn't a literal price from the yeah. PFSRD, just and it seems like it's absolutely the wrong price, you can tell me and I will reconsider. I don't guarantee a full reconsideration, but I, I price based on vibes unless I have a number from Pathfinder, so. <laughs> You're so valid. It's honestly same. It's fucking mood. Pricing things is hard. Just vibe check it. Just see what happens. Um, how, it... how real economies work. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fuck it. Fuck it, we ball. Um, but yeah, you are able to do that. Um, and then, um, you can circle back around and head to, uh, Naga's Arcana. And indeed, there are lights there. Uh, it does appear, at least, on first impression, to be open. Is there a sign on the door? Because sometimes the lights are on, but the place is closed. There is no sign one way or the other. Okay. Do you go in? I'll knock first, because it's like, this feels like it's outside of sort of regular business hours. So I want to like do the polite thing and let you know that I'm here. Um, I is also so concerned that this is like five minutes before closing and she doesn't want to be that guy. Valid. Okay, you knock. Come on. Yeah. You knock. Um, there is no response except some slight shuffling and then a small crash. Oh no! Oh, poor child. <laughs> Peking yeah, has she... already entered snake mode. <laughs> she, she, she wants to run and help out because, like, if something fell on the snake, that's just that, that's just a dick move to leave them now. So the door is unlocked. You can go in. Um, yeah. And and uh, you can quickly see where the where the crash is coming from. You look over. It looks like it doesn't look like anything has fallen over, but it looks like several things have come off a shelf. And for a second on the floor, there's a snake on the floor. Um, <laughs> and then as soon as um, you are looking at it, there is no longer a snake on the floor, and it is the the shopkeeper that you recognize, sort of like sitting up. Hello. Oh, you do not get picked up by the microphone. I didn't yeah, say anything. Oh, okay. okay. I... I'm just... Welcome to Naga's Arcana. How can I help you today? I mostly just wanted to come say hello and see how you were doing. I didn't want to... I didn't want to stress you out with anything. Stressed. Um, shelves are good for when you want things on shelves, and there are things off the shelves. I am putting things back up on the shelves. Would you like some help with getting things back on the shelves? They can go on the shelves with... I can put them on the shelves. Would you be willing to let me help you put things on the shelves? I know that hands are difficult. Well, I can put them on the shelves. Okay. They are focusing so hard on picking things up and placing them on the shelves. It's only like two or three things. Okay. Um, so it's not a ton, but it's just a, a little process of a very carefully scoop thing, place it on shelves. I'm sorry if I startled you. What? 
was a sound that startled me. Sounds are good for startling. They are, yes. But not you. Don't worry. She, 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 she gives a smile and just... I also wanted to ask if one of my friends had come to visit recently. person about like our character i don't think princess would have had time to come visit or to cause some problems yet but um yeah, you can describe princess yeah um not seeing anyone like that lots of customers that's good have you been able to have time and relax and not have to worry too much about customers? Ah. I... I relax. Um, time when there are no customers here is good for relaxing. I imagine it would be. I, out of character, I need you to be aware that Aya is trying so hard to convey, are you getting to have time in your regular shape rather than being forced to have to deal with hands? But she doesn't want to say that directly, because that feels rude. Um, sometimes there are customers here, and then sometimes there are not customers here, and that time is good for relaxing. Okay. I did not mean to, I didn't mean to interrupt your relaxing time. I wasn't actually sure if the shop would even be open at this time. Uh, not an interruption. Just when customers are here, it is not relaxing time. And when I am, and when there are not customers here, it is relaxing time. I understand. I just wanted to see how you were doing and check up and I can leave and let you get back to your relaxing. Well, there might be other customers. It is getting dark outside. I don't think most people are going to act as customers. Although I guess since you do sell magic things, maybe People who buy magic things keep odd hours. There are customers here at many times when it is light, and customers here at many times when it is dark. Fair enough. Can I get a sense of what they're looking at? Um, the world around them. Um, oh, okay. The, mostly, the, the, they're the, looking. They're looking out windows, um, ah. just to look at the dark sky that you have mentioned. Um, they also, um, after a minute, they're like, What did you mean when the shop? open at this hour? Aya makes a mental note that clearly whoever, clearly whatever is causing this did not, but it's sort of gonna, well, a lot of shops tend to be closed, a lot of shops tend to only take customers and sell things from at some point after sunrise to a bit before the sun sets. Some shops stay open longer, but they don't always have to be open. What? What are they if not open? They're closed. They're, they're, customers can't come in and... The people who work at the shops can have meals, relax, go home if there is a relevant home. They 
they're looking around at all the uh, objects on the shelves, and they look at you and, what is good for closing the shop? Well, do you have a lock on the door? Because if you do, what we can do, what you can do is you can turn off the light, put out the lights, and lock the doors, and then you can go and you can go home for the night or as long as you want if you're the one who sets the hours. Is there anyone else who works here? Sometimes. They go. They are good at going places and doing things in other places. Sometimes they work here. Okay. So maybe yeah. you couldn't really set the hours, but you could say close over the night and spend that time to relax without having to worry about customers. So, the lights are good for closing. The, the lights are good, good and if you... Yes. Okay. 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 And the hours are when the sun is up. They can be. That's what a lot of people work with. I don't know how Aya's going to word this, but she does sort of want to word it in the... Well, first of all... Sorry, my brain just fizzled a little bit. Um, I don't know how to word this, but the sentiment that Aya is trying to get across is... Well, if you're going to be closed soon, I don't want to buy anything because it's rude for customers to come in before closing. And also, she wants to convey that she wasn't necessarily intending on buying something. But if something leaps out, she might buy it as a present for friends or... I just can't figure out words exactly. So you're saying that you're not buying anything right now because closing? Yes. Okay. Sorry, that was really long and convoluted. Um, I just wanted to restate it to make sure I knew what yes. was going on. Um, okay. Uh, unless something like immediately leaps out, but since it seems like... They will be closing for possibly the first time ever. What the hell? Whoever arranged this? Um, and it's very rude for customers to come in just before closing. This place needs a union. Good God, yeah. <laughs> All right. If you want to come in, and we're open. Mm-hmm. When the sun is up. I can come and buy something when you are open. Okay. Yes. Box and lights. Yes. Thank you. Have a 
Have a good day. Come again soon. Thank you for your time. She is going to wave as she leaves and take her leave and consider the implications of, oh, I have just taught this snake how to... How to close a shop for the first time ever. Um, she, she might offer to help with closing if they would like, but... They seem like they have a, have a system in mind um, <laughs> for, for what you have told them. Um, but they do return your wave as you leave. Yeah, okay. At some point, I will befriend this snake enough to, one, ask if they have something they like to be called, and two, get into the, yeah, I, I am a bird, I'm just person-shaped at the moment. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. Naga's Arcana errand completed. Yeah. I made two rolls. The first roll um, was to see if the shop ever closed. Um, oh, no. The second roll was was to see if um, they knew what knocking signified. Oh, I rolled my a God. two on the knocking signifying roll. Oh. <laughs> okay. Baby. So then back explain what that is. Okay, got it. Um, and I think the shop never closed before this. The, the shop, they, 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 they have not closed the shop. Um, <laughs> other, others may have closed the shop, um, but they have not. Um, oh. okay. The, once again, this little dude needs a union. Many, many motherfuckers in this universe need a union. Let's well, get them unions. Come on, guys. We can be OSHA and Captain. Set up a union. Although, actually, that might be a soot conversation. <laughs> so, oh, he could be a good union worker, I think. <laughs> he could do so, it. Soot so, so would be a union man back at home. Um, oh, yeah. I, I feel like he helped people get, like, their benefits. Um, <laughs> so, he, so, <laughs> would, so would fucking yell at... Uh, uh, an abusive boss. Um, he was so mean to, like, anybody younger than him. He he comes home and he's like, Adder, I found my dream job. <laughs> <laughs> I get to yell at people and... for money. <laughs> it literally, literally his dream job. Um, God bless. Oh. Becomes you per- becomes professional union rep. <laughs> King shit, honestly. It's what it's what he deserves. <laughs> I wasn't joking. Um <laughs> Now that you found out, you found one of the one of the union union side quest locations. Um, <laughs> anybody else up to anything this evening? I am. I know you are. What are you up to? Um. Well, I'm. I'm dressing slutty and I'm going to Sweetwater. Yeah. Um, yes. Fern um, deserves it. If. If if any of you see Fern, this is what Fern is wearing. <laughs> um, jean jacket, classic, always there. N- probably never seen Fern. Definitely never seen Fern without it. But instead, but all mesh top instead. Um, thigh highs, fishnets above the thigh highs, and a like the thigh highs go like just above the knee. And then a skirt that hits about mid thigh, and you get like the little peak of fishnets. Um, and then they're regular boots. Um, and they're going to Sweetwater and are going to have a good time. <laughs> if so, if um, sees you, he gives you a thumbs up. <laughs> yeah, everybody but Aya would probably see Fern on their way out in some capacity. Um, do with that what you talking. will, Fern. You, you can go to Sweetwater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm not talking to anyone bef- before I leave. You don't gotta. <laughs> you, guys, you guys see Fern Slutty Edition strutting out of the end. By God. Um, mm-hmm. Garbled, you're at work. You recognize Fern. Fern was around earlier helping with the rabbit thing. Haven't seen haven't seen the slutty vibe yet, but God bless. Um, 
and yeah. Before I get to that, is anybody anybody else doing anything specific for the evening? Or are we gonna wrap up the evening with um Fern's adventure? Victor is gonna drive herself in circles. Um it's what she deserves. <laughs> she's so normal. Um Yeah. I, th I think Sit probably just she's spends so normal. That's absolutely a normal thing to do. I, I think Sit just spends the time like, you know, drinking at the inn that we're staying at and hanging out. Um listening for anything he can glean from everybody talking, like movements of people, that sort of thing. He's being a little bit of a snoop. <laughs> Make a little, make a little snoop check. A little snoop check. What is a snoop, snoop check? Dog. Perception check, probably. <laughs> <laughs> snoop dog. Brings yes, my dog in. <laughs> no, it's checking. It's a, it's a, it's a check to see if you can read the syllabus. Oh, yeah, shit. I need a syllabus check. Y'all remember the fucking syllabus video? Matt's never seen it. Oh my god, dude, hold on. Where's the <laughs> syllabus video? We're taking a brief pause. I'm so sorry. That's fine. I mean, if I'm if it must, it must. What oh, what sort of check did you want me to do, though? <laughs> oh yeah, I need to, to... do the syllabus um, thing first. I know what I rolled in the dice. It's fine. <laughs> Keep going. Perception. That's okay. A Snoop check. Okay, hold on. Snoop Dogg says read the syllabus. Here it is. Hold on. <sighs> Well, I need everybody to watch this video just to remind yourself of what it's like, but I need Matt specifically to watch this video. I can't. I'm recording. <laughs> I can't immortalize Snoop Dogg syllabus video here. What if he takes me down? <laughs> Not that he would, but, you know. <laughs> I just I can't stress enough how much I love the syllabus video. I once it's posted so... a complete breakdown of the syllabus video. It's the deep analysis of the syllabus video. I mean, this the more man... you know, the further you'll go. Exactly. This man knows what a syllabus catch, is for sure. Ca catch up so we can have a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> About what Snoop Dogg? The syllabus? Yeah, got it. Snoop Dogg, he's the professor. He, he knows it. He knows it. He knows it. all he about it. it. This man God. knows what a syllabus is. I love him so much. He's dear. selling it successfully. Um, anyway, sorry. You gotta read it. You gotta do it. Shout out. Okay, and and so this was just for vibe vibe checking the the. Yeah, just like seeing end. if I could and hear any hot goss, um, <laughs> anything yeah. that would concern um, me, um, either personally or otherwise. It seems like a pretty quiet night, overall. Okay. Nothing, nobody is having big big talks or making big. <clears throat> big conversation of anything that seems alarming or exciting but um you know petty stuff and um, there's no there's nobody talking to me in the brain space <laughs> there's the make a there's no you know what i'll say no for no for now it's your yeah. general background chatter it doesn't seem Kay. anything that's close enough to you to really truly over here fair um i so it deserves to be disconnected from the Discord call. <laughs> he will never be able to leave. <laughs> um, Fern. Hi. Make a charisma check. Ooh. Oh, why don't I have my character sheet out? We're like 45 minutes in. Jesus Christ. Uh, Ooh, <laughs> 45 minutes into a game. 23. 23. God bless. Yeah, it's just straight charisma, right? Um, yeah. Okay, yeah, 23. God bless. Or 18 at, on the dice. At, you have a 20 charisma? Yes, I do. Nice. That's what I use. I had a 19. I used my level 4 one to get up to a 20. 
Oh, right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember it. I remember this. Um, um... And... I'm having a drink. Yeah, oh, you're having a drink. Nice. I am having a drink. That's very exciting for you. Are you sitting mm -hmm. at the bar? Are you sitting at a booth? What's what's the vibe? Um, probably probably at the bar. Yeah. You are sitting at the bar. You're welcome to make chit chat with with your new acquaintance Garvold if you'd like. Um, mm -hmm. but Garvold is a pretty busy night, so you can't spend too much time. Um. Oh, and and if it's busy, I if he is busy, I'm not going to hold too much of his his attention. Maybe maybe just a hello, and if he wants to chat, I'll chat. But if he's he's busy, I'm not going to. To oh. pin him down. I mean, Garvold will chat for sure. If I, if it's busy, I will not bother him. Got anything? But, but anything? I, but any I, chatting you would like to do in specific, Garvold, or just the usual small talk? Hey, how's it going? Haven't seen you since that thing with the pickle jar, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I prefer will say hello. <laughs> he does like him right now. Yeah, I th I think Gavold keeps it very chill. I I feel like yeah, he's just trying to build up rapport. <laughs> so I think just a very basic like conversation, and it is a busy night. Busy night, little chit chat, nice, familiar, casual. Ah shit, more people coming in. Oh, new table. All right, shit. Not having look, Katie being out with food poisoning or whatever is you know normally you're good to handle it um normally you have like one extra person here with you for a night like this um you're not the only one here but not being being down someone is definitely cramping your style a little bit in terms of how many how many customers there are i mean yeah um, i mean Garvold is absolutely, like, pulling out all the stops, though. Like, if this is gonna be, like, one of his last shifts in a while, he's going for it. God bless. Full send. Commit to it. This is the Let's bartender. Go. Yeah! This is our guy, Garvold. <laughs> yeah! Like, whatever stylish bar tricks, they are happening. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you're doing the fancy shit, you're doing the bottle flip, you're doing, you're, you're, you're full send, all out. Fuck um, yeah. The people who are already drunk are obsessed with it, the people who aren't already drunk wanna be. Like, it's great. Yeah! You're in your element, thriving. It's a performance, and, and you're enjoying yourself. Um... Fern. It isn't long before um, someone comes up to you at the bar. Um, yeah. Just sort of, there's an empty seat. Slide in to take it. It's a very, very tall uh, individual. Um, they're well over six feet without the horns, and the horns add at least six inches. Um, Mm. Almost pitch black skin with a bright spattering of white freckles, um, a scar over their eyebrow, um, little little glasses, long dark hair, a um, little bit of stubble, um, wearing uh, a black jacket, um, and overall. Not, not bad on the eyes. Mm. Um, I will put a little pit crew in, in chat. Oh, um, yes! And, and they, they just... I don't have a, a voice or anything for this character, so it's not going to be a full thing, but, you know, they introduce themselves as... Uh, Essel, in the chat. Um, they would love to learn your name, get to know you a little better. Uh, my, my name is Fern. 
Um, and very nice to meet you. It's very nice to meet you too. <laughs> and um, because I am legitimately incapable of being flirtatious um, with an NPC, <laughs> um, it is a flirtatious and fun, spicy conversation. I love it. It's great. You're having a good it's time. Great. Oh yeah. Essel's funny. Essel Essel awesome. is here, living their best life. They're not from around here, but they want to make friends in town. Hmm. Well, unfortunately, um, I'm not from around here either, but I well, can be right. very friendly. They're they're both passing through at the right time, and that's all it takes, right? Yeah. <laughs> um and and to cut a long story short, you guys have a fun evening doing whatever you'd like to do. Hmm. Awesome. It's great. Hell yeah. <laughs> Garvo takes um, a note of personality trait real quick. <laughs> <laughs> um you guys have a lovely evening. It's great. Um He's got, uh, they've got an in-room not too far away. Um, if mm. you end up, uh, not caring for the bar environment for the whole evening. Um, because oh, it does get a little loud, especially at the bar, because let me tell you, yeah. um, let me tell you, Garble is getting shit hype in this bitch. Yeah, I think, I think as the hype level rises, I, I will take them up on that offer. Ideal. Um, Garfield, by the end of the night, you have transferred part of the bar setup, like, out onto the stage after the musicians, um, uh, made, took their leave for the evening, and you're doing, like, like, juggling with, with bottles of alcohol on stage, because fuck it. Yep. Living your best life. I mean, it's just one of those performances where it's, like, in a movie where the percussion of the scene is just the bar and it's the best. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. And it's like the chanting and cheering of all the all the people around you is like the backdrop for your cool tricks. Yeah. Well, like we're just having a musical number in here right now. Yeah, yeah. It's basically like the guard like there is there is a seduction happening at one end of the bar, and then at the other end of the bar, it is it is the hype bar um, choreography number in in a musical. Um, Stomp. Yes. <laughs> it's it's great. But yeah, the evening passes unless there's anything in particular. Um, anyone would like to do. When when would I get back? Well, that depends. You're welcome to stay as long as you like. Um, hmm. Otherwise, early hours of the morning, you could probably head back to yours. Hmm. I think I'll head back around midnight, or maybe okay. 1 a.m. Okay. Easily done. You are you are wished a pleasant farewell. I I wish the same. Ah. Mm, uh... Um. See, I've been given this gift. And I've give, been given a candle. And really, you know, if it is a gift, I should burn it tonight. Mm -hmm. So I think I will. All right. You can set up in your in room. It's a long burning candle. It smells of lavender. Nice. It's an easy thing to light it and set it up. 
and watch it. Mm -hmm. Um, it's... Tradition dictates that you watch it when you first light it and you watch it again before it goes out. Um, but... Of course, you can sleep. Um, meditate, um, rather. You're an elf. Um, yeah, you I am an elf. Fer Fern does often choose to sleep, but, uh, this time they will meditate. Okay. Uh, you meditate for your four hours, and the candle still has some life left when you, when you sort of arise from that, and you can sit and watch it, um, until at around eight in the morning or so, eight thirty, it mm -hmm. flickers out. The last of the flame. And you're just left with the charred remnants of the wick. All right. Cool. All right. Good morning, everybody. It's Saren of 27th. What are you doing today? Don't know. Check job board, baby? <laughs> check jo you, you are welcome to check job board. Um, if we can find one. <laughs> there is a job board um, that you would be aware of. Yes. Also would like to check the... Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, it's all good. Um... My thing might take a while. You ask your question first. Oh, I was just gonna say, so it would do a quick check to see if he can tell if the the blackness is there when Adder wakes up. <laughs> uh, when you wake up and you're looking, you don't catch sight of it. It's really very faded, um, to the naked eye. Um, it doesn't even really feel cold to the touch anymore. Um, mm. so... Nothing too well. I, I I was about to say nothing too concerning. I suppose in its own way that is concerning. Um, yeah. But you yeah. know, you will tell me if anything goes worse. If you feel literally just indigestion, maybe you don't have to tell I, me, yeah. but it would make me feel a little better. No, I'll tell you. Okay. Anything goes wrong, you're the first one to know. Well, I'm the first one to know. You're the second one to know. <laughs> Gives him kiss on cheek. Go get breakfast. All right. You guys can breakfast along with anybody else in the inn. Breakfast. breakfast. Matt, you wanted you wanted to ask something? Yes. Yes, right, cuz I up. I think Garvold would chase you guys down in the morning. Ooh. Do you, do you know where they're staying? Yeah. Um, we'll absolutely just walk in there and find them and s possibly just stare near the table. I feel like sitting down would be too bold of a move. Right. So standing there, just looming, is what he goes with. Listen. Sit with a piece of I'm toast not halfway. <laughs> Sit's so got half a piece of toast in his mouth, and he's like, "You want breakfast?" <laughs> I I mean, sure, but um, I have a request. <laughs> I know this is sudden and immediate and very early in the morning, so if this is too much, please let me know. But Raised I, I, I enjoyed the little excursion yesterday. It was exciting. It was something new and I can't say I'm not intrigued by this mystery going on. 
Is there any chance at all that I'd be able to help out with this? Um. <laughs> so it looks to the rest of you for help. <laughs> Never. No help. <laughs> uh, Garvold, right? I mean this with absolutely no offense. Can you do anything more in combat than a crew than a corkscrew? It was a very effective corkscrew. It was a corkscrew. I can probably do more, yes. How do you mean, probably? I am fairly good with most weaponry. Are you? Mm-hmm. Oh, I... I mean, it's a tough area that I live in. If you don't know how to wield a weapon, it's a bit difficult. Can I make a sense motive check? <laughs> Can I also attempt one? <laughs> you, that was you both a can, terrible you all can make sense motive check. Um, and what? Matt, you can make your bluff check with. Um, yeah, I need. Oh, his bluff is insane. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Aya is actually specifically trying to look for like. D does he move like someone who knows how to use? Who knows how to use a weapon and, like, knows how to deal with bullshit. I rolled a 19. Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh, no! I knew it was insane, but good lord! Yeah, I forgot the plus three that I was meant to be adding against specifically sense motive. Oh, Carl. You plus 40? No, 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 no. That's, with the, that's with the additional plus three, right? That is with the plus three. Okay, okay good. Um... Yeah, but the last <laughs> times I was rolling, I didn't 20, have it. But it is a nat 20 that only brings me to a 30. God. Alas, um, a 30 doesn't cut it, and like... For Victor, um... The vibe is like... Yeah, shit, he does live in a rough area, and you know people who, like, originally started combat training because they lived in a rough area and then moved on mm -hmm. um, to doing shit like mercenary work and stuff like that. Um, so this is not altogether... Stupid. This ain't, this ain't out of nowhere. Yeah. This is, like, a legit... It's not... You might not be convinced, but you're not, like, put off by this explanation at all. It seems like, yeah, you know what? That's, that's a fair thing. Aya, man's at least moves with a fair deal of confidence about his own body, um, even just with the corkscrew. Um, you feel like, yes, he is, like, in tune with himself and knows a thing or two about weaponry. Yeah, okay. I can assure I, I will not hold anyone back. And if I am, even if I'm able to just be there and observe, that even that would be okay with me. Well, I... We don't exactly want to have somebody that will hold us down, you know? Um, not that I think you exactly would, but... <sighs> we... <sighs> How do I say this nicely? I gotta be nice. Uh... I don't have to be nice. Could be a dick. I don't really want to be. to say something true. <laughs> <laughs> we don't exactly know what you're capable of, and that is a little bit... Um... Detrimental to us. So... What are you good at? Aside from wielding yeah. bottles great and... Uh, a corkscrew. Decent. The only thing 
Ryan's defense, when we all met, we didn't know what anyone else was capable of. This isn't, honestly, this is a gentler, this is a, um, she doesn't use the word gentler, but it's like, this is less of a weird introduction than we all had to each other. I, oh no, I agree with this, Aya, but, um, we drew together I mean, out of necessity, I... <laughs> there's yeah. no better way to find out what someone can do than to, you know, a trial work run. with them for a few days. Yeah. I guess we could probably try some smaller jobs and see what... Yeah. We were planning on picking up a few anyways. One more person is, well, just makes the job easier. I'm willing for that, a trial run. I ain't saying yes, though. Well, I do appreciate the chance to change your mind in either case. Hmm. <laughs> it... I'm... I promise to do my absolute best. Good. Come come sit down and eat some dinner breakfast then. Jeez. Yes, that, was <laughs> that was a ren slip. That was a ren slip. It's Listen, so it's been having a uh, been having a time and also what is time of day? Literally. Uh, Morning breakfast. Oh yeah, I forgot I can make traps. Yeah, ah. traps! Yeah! <laughs> Fucking love traps. I'm waiting for my other Pathfinder character to make traps. One day it'll be I useful. One day it will be useful for traps. One day Cypress will be able to make traps and it will be over. <laughs> yeah. You guys can um, finish up breakfast and then head to find uh, job boards. Um, and you... Garbled, you know exactly where to find job boards. Um, so oh, absolutely. Point point one of of uh, Garbled is useful in this circumstance. Um, call call Victor still unconvinced. <laughs> yeah, I have I nothing feel, suspicious. I feel like Victor and Sid are on the same page for this. <laughs> oh, like the thing is, this was absolutely like a very sudden. Like I met you yesterday. Can I be your friend? Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, I feel like I feel like Victor and like Victor and Sud are the boss modes of this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you get to Victor all and I, It is very important that for all that Io was like, I mean, this isn't as weird as the way we met each other. Yeah, uh, she she is also sort of like the the fan is sort of much more actively up, and she has a very. <laughs> Carefully blank expression. Can you join the click at school? God, Victor is like, like. I feel like. Go for it. I was just gonna say it's something like I don't. I don't want to be mean. And Victor's like, you can be mean. And Victor, uh, in set in his brain, is like, that's your job. <laughs> I, I had to fight so hard. The surge that came up from I have no idea who that was like. We don't want to deal with you getting yourself killed. And yeah. I was like, no, I would not say that. Whoever you are, bonk. That's the voice here's, in Soot's head. <laughs> here's the best thing uh, that I really like about this interview process, um, is that Garbled shows up to the party and it's like, hey, I've got skills. Um, can I hang out with you, please? Uh, and you guys are like, no, bullied, blocked. Um, Danela <laughs> showed up, had a foursome immediately, and then you're like, yeah, come along. <laughs> hey. I like how I was getting I, I like how I was getting judged for the cork crew that did more damage than a gun. Yeah. See <laughs> Donela, we know that she fucks, um, and it was Navi that she was with. Um 
that was fine. Uh, we don't know yeah, anything Nobby about Garvel. Nobby gave a seal of approval for for Danela. This is yeah. Garvel's a random bartender. Yeah. yeah. Hit in a bush and stabbed a rabbit with a corkscrew yesterday. We don't know let's, anything let's about him. <laughs> like, I love you, Matt. It's gonna be fine. Oh, no. It's gonna work out. Vic just gonna <laughs> bully know. him first. I accept <laughs> this, and I welcome it. And we... This is just kind of how it is with Victor. Mm -hmm. This is what Victor does, yeah. Like, I knew this before the campaign. <laughs> <laughs> and then I made a character that I was like, what if I have a secret identity and I lie to everyone? God, I love him. <laughs> They're my favorite. <laughs> uh... um, Y'all can go to the job board. Um... And there are a couple things that stand out to you. Um, the notice about, um, like, looking for information about weird black goop plague is, like, from Farmer Douglas is clearly, like, over a week old at this point. Um, and you're like, okay, been there, done that. Um, and, uh, you all... Are sort of looking around and there's there's one that's um a little ways out of town um about half a day south um somebody is having um problems with um they suspect a cockatrice um oh. they can't confirm it but they suspect it um that's fun. and um, others, there's, so that's about half a day south, and then there's also, um, still in town, um, but on the eastern edge of town, so this is, like, eastern edge of town is more where, um, the, what's the name of the fancy restaurant that I invented, good god, uh... Silver Lark. Um, and the pond and all that. Um, that's more that edge, but it's, um, apparently an abandoned building on that edge of town, which is an eyesore, um, and people have been clamoring for it to be taken down for ages. Um, an inspector tried to go in, um, to make sure it was clear to, to knock down, and there was something there that spooked him. And, uh... He would like uh, it to be dealt with by somebody that's, other than him. That's fun. I mean, in town, a half day to the south. We could try the one I mean, in like town first. For a week, so we could possibly do both. This is true. In town first, maybe? I then like we the can... Building. Yep. Uh -huh. Um, there is a name of a contact, um, and a, um, there's no, uh, reward amount listed, um, but it does say there is a reward, um, but the address is also given for, uh, the contact. Um, so it is easy enough to find where you're looking to talk to this guy. Okay. So you're headed to that one? Yeah. Right. Yep. Um, it is the city inspector's office. It's not a super, um, posh building by any standards. It's definitely a little run down, a little worse for wear. Um, but you go in and there is a little sign that's sort of directing you. There's three different offices. Um, one, one Mr. Ford uh, is who you're looking for and you can easily find his office. Knock, knock, knock. Come on in. Morning, sir. Morning. Is sir appropriate? Yeah. Okay. It's a guy. He's chilling behind his desk. He looks like exactly the kind of guy who would be like, 
an inspector for houses. Nice. How? Oh, we I saw your in this man, and I have taken courses with this man. This man ran my asbestos awareness course. This man, <laughs> this man did run your asbestos awareness course. Good God, he did. Um. <laughs> that is the man that I'm visualizing here. Uh, that's exactly correct, yes. Victor is gonna... Hi there, we saw your notice for a, um... A building you had an issue with that you want to clear out? Ah. Uh, yeah, that's... That's out east side. The, you know that old big, uh... Like that tall sort of shack building out there by the pond? Do I? Uh... I'll just give it to you because you've been around the pond and mm -hmm. um, you can vaguely think, yeah, there's a tallish sort of building out there that looks a little bit less put together than the rest of the... Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. She goes, yeah, i seen it. Well, they're trying to, I mean, they're trying to get that, uh, get that torn down. It's great. Uh, they just wanted me to have a look around there and make sure there was nothing uh, hazardous uh, or anything that would be a concern. Um, for the demolition crew, uh, and as it happens, I went in, and there were some things in there. Describe, uh, sort of, you know, at first I thought it was some kind of, like, big rat, but it's bigger than even the big rats. Right. Um, and there were a couple of them, and they seemed pretty aggressive, just sort of coming out towards me, so I just sort of... That's not my job. I figured I'd put out a notice, see if we can get somebody in to take care of that before I went and did the inspection, and then before we got demolition in there. All right, seems up our alley. I don't know you just said it would be hard for you to describe what you saw, but would you take a stab anyway? I mean, it's like furry, big, really did think it was a rat. Like, you know, it's not like massive, but you know, your average giant rat's about yay big. Um, and this was definitely like, you know, if your average giant rat is here, it was more like, here, you know? Alright. Um, and, and pretty thick, too. Like, a round looks sort of like a, a rotundness to it. Um, mm -hmm. and, it, you know, it had that eye shine looking back at me, which meant that I could see better in the dark than I could, so I figure I'm not gonna mess around with it. Um, one that I saw with its mouth open looked to have sharp teeth. I wouldn't want to, you know, be around that for fear of rabies. Um, just, you know, it's a little bigger than our normal uh, exterminator. It was really comfortable approaching, and so they have those three of them specially, so we figured we'd just put out a notice and uh, see if we could get any contractors in to do it. All right. Appreciate it. Did the notice mention anything about payment? It, it didn't mention specifics of payment, but mm -hmm. it mentioned that there was payment uh, on the table. And how much can we expect to be compensated? Well, uh, considering as this is um, uh, looking to be at the very least, if not a magical beast, at least magical adjacent in nature by uh, Ordinance 206, that's going to be a minimum compensation of 250 gold, considering if there's three of them, I think I can probably get you 300 gold for the lot, um, provided proof of, uh, proof of death and all that, um, just bring whatever you got, um, don't go lugging the whole things. But... As long as we can confirm that building's clear, ready for inspection, ready for demolition, uh, all well and good with me. Does that seem accurate to the law? To the law. Um, make a knowledge local check. Law. Uh, 
Uh, knowledge local. Uh, that is going to be a 25. 25, okay. Um, to your knowledge, yes. Um, in terms of, like, city extermination stuff, you definitely know that the, the magical beast thing, he's probably undershooting it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Like, you're probably entitled to more, like, if there are really three of them and they're all magical beasts, you're probably entitled to more like 400 gold. Um, but 300 isn't terribly undershooting it. Um, and you don't know necessarily that they're magical beasts. So if they're just three really big critters of some kind and they're not magic, 300 gold's a good deal for mm -hmm. that. Um, but you know the policy, if they are seeking extermination for magical creatures, you do have to pay a minimum of, uh, there's like a minimum um, fee that you can assign to that sort of thing because of the risks involved. Um, mm -hmm. Big Adventure and Guild lobbied for it a couple decades back. And it has been yeah. Awesome. So there's eight of us. You know, possibly we should also get unionized. Th that's not something I have brings up, but like, I'm like, hmm, perhaps we should also be unionized. We can create I our own adventure go. guild. Oh, Adder. Are you Skylar? Oh, I'm Skylar. They're only Skylar. <laughs> Um, I think she's just like. Well, no. I got a mighty big crew here, you see, and we're all very well trained for this sort of thing. Um. If we're talking magical creatures, 300's a little bit below our usual asking rate, but I'll do it for 350. Make a diplomacy check. Fifteen. Fifteen. No. Four on the dice. Oh, mm -hmm. the dice. Um, yeah, he sort of... Yeah, okay. Uh, you do have a big crew, um... It's still the same same number of creatures regardless, but I tell you what I'll do for you. I will bump it up to 330 about. And then if you find if there's more than three, obviously I, you will get an increased rate from there. If there is proof of any specific external magical hazards within the building, I can get you extra compensation for that as well. Um, but, uh, 330 is probably going to be what I can do in terms of the base right here. All right. All right. Well, uh, you know where it is. I can, let me get you some paperwork in case anybody's asking what you're doing around the over there. Um, and he pulls out a form and he starts filling something out. Um, it's basically permission for you to be on city property. That building has been reclaimed. Um, and condemned. Condemned, <laughs> yeah. Um, and so, yeah, you get you get your paperwork. And uh, you are welcome to head out to the east side of town, around the pond. Yeehaw. Just around the pond. <laughs> Just around the pond, exactly. Just around um, the river bend. And yeah. while you're heading over there, you think you're pretty sure you know where this building is, but if everyone wants to make a perception check for me while you're heading out. <laughs> I want to see what Sit rolls. His rolls for perception are always so good to me. Uh, so good. I, I love that he has no modifier. It's great. It was funnier when he had a minus to it, but it's still funny to me. Mm. Ah, garble! Oh, garble! I rolled you're a natural good. 20! <laughs> Garbled is so anxious about making a good impression. 
Carol, oh. you're so focused on being being so helpful and good. Um God bless. 20 for 20. Um Yeah. I just like the 22, 20, 29, 25. Five. <laughs> Garvel, you know where this building is, um, but you're really, really distracted and a little you're 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 flustered internally, but you're like you're not showing it. But you're so focused on not showing it that you are not paying attention to your surroundings. Absolutely. Um, Victor and Soot easily as you're heading out that way, you both sort of Catch a side of you're like, is that it? And then you look at each other and you're like, that's definitely it, right? And then you get a little closer and you're like, oh yeah, that's it. No. It's the only thing that looks anything like it. Um, anything like it in the surrounding area. Aya, uh, you easily see it. You see um, where um, birds have clearly started nesting in the upwards rafters. Um, It's an inside. It's an inside piece. Uh, okay. Um, sorry, I've been on mute because there's a fucking lawnmower and street sweeper going by that are perfectly oh. loud. Rude. Um, I don't have a door drawn on this map. I'm gonna draw a door on this map. Listen, sometimes buildings just don't have doors. No door today. So no door? <laughs> Doorless. SMH. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, I know I know we said listening, but we actually ended up in a conversation with our parents and couldn't. Or did we move from the conversation yes. yet or? Yes. Just yes. Are we you at, are heading are we at to the, the place building? where the thing is. Cool. We have gotten permission. Mm -hmm. And on that note, um, I managed to negotiate the price, the, the payout a little bit up, but not as quite as up as I wanted to make it an even seven-way split. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Mm. We can just put it in got, property funds oh, we or got something. We got close. It's okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, uh, before we go in, Aya is going to give Victor the potion of magic weapon she has for the gun because she can make both her hands and her fan magical well her fan is now semi-magical because of attunement and her hands are magical so she's gonna give you the potion of magic weapon for that gun he's gonna oh i appreciate that darling i got a spell for that fair enough Well, in that case, if you've got a spell for that, it might go to Garvold, because I think everyone else either has something that is magical, or either has magic that they can use, or has also got. I'm so excited to fucking destroy. <laughs> if I do cast it specifically on the gun, it's going to count as magical damage with shots, or do I need to cast it on bullets? Uh, it just says magic weapon gives a weapon a plus one enhancement bonus on attack on attack and damage rolls. Um. Oh, that would be so stupid. Like you enchant the gun, but the ammunition isn't magic, so it's only magical when you pistol whip someone. This. It is a level one spell. Okay, it doesn't say it doesn't say anything about it needing to be a melee weapon, so I'm gonna say that that's fine. Take okay. a gun, so you don't need to worry about the ammunition. That um, is appreciated. Can everybody see the map? Uh, yes. No. Maybe? Is it the shitty light? Oh, yes, I can see it. Yes. Um, this is the door. Mm-hmm. Um, that I scribbled on here. Love that. It is a great thing. Not the 
bottom of the page if you want to slap your uh are you well i guess the first question is are you trying to sneak into the building or are you trying to just come on rodents come and get us like what's the strat i feel like uh, somebody should be get up there quiet to at least like is there a window there are I'm down some windows window. but they're largely boarded up mm-hmm um, and all the ones on the first floor are fully boarded. Uh, in which that case, it might just be kick open the door, because we're not gonna... Send, um, stop red. In that case... Stop uh, red! Can... It's us! You're not <laughs> boys! Y'all <laughs> can, um, place yourself in a cluster around the door here. And I will be glad to cluster. One moment. Okay, clustering. Um. Uh, did Adder stay back? I assume he did. Um, if you wanted him to go with, he would have gone with. Otherwise, he could have stayed back. I need to pee real fast. Okay. Mmm. I, d I don't know. I don't want to make this decision for him. <laughs> if he wants uh, to come with me, he can. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say for the sake of keeping the combat short and sweet that he has stayed behind. Um, that is all right. And I am going to. I should also ask in general. Uh, how? <laughs> How much do we care about the lighting? Because I I know it matters to me. <laughs> the lighting? Uh, low light vision. I think I have low light vision or like dark vision thingy. Hold on. Because I'm. I believe elf. everybody has low light vision at least. Yeah, low light vision. I have that. Yeah. Well, Darn it, has it. I have low light and dark vision. Um, ah, yes. Fun. But it also matters for this feature that I have. I will say there is dim light in here currently. Um, but everybody can see normally. Yeah, um, and these rats... Because you all have low light vision. These rats can also see, allegedly, from what I can tell. Um, however... The fact that they can see does not, uh... Does not mitigate this, uh... Bloody. Ability. Yeah. Nice. So would you like to roll initiative one? That's okay. Uh, yeah, you can roll initiative. Sometimes brain needs a moment to get to the words, because they're not always right there. My god, this they're is not so always cool. right there. Mm. Oh, you did you want us to roll initiative? Just to yeah. have it? Okay. We'll sign on that. Okay, give I me one I second. Um, the oh, oh, oh. Oh, what am I doing? That's right, I need this to be here. Um, Turner is up, so I'm going to. There is soot character sheet. I'm rolling physical dice first. Oh. Oh, that was not very good. Uh. Where's my initiative? Oh, hey, this is better than some of my people, so that's plus three, so. Um, and I'm gonna roll to get on the turn order. Let's see, I've rolled better that way. Good lord. <laughs> there we go. Stuff on my end, waiting for Parker to get back. 
Take your time. Mm -hmm. Please. Shout out to Lotion. Literally. Our hands get so dry in the winter from, like, because we have to hand wash a lot because food service, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Food safety and all that. Um, mm -hmm. but damn, do they get dry and then crack and bleed and it's annoying. So, yeah. shout out to Lotion. So true. Shout out to the genetics we got from our dad. Uh, Same. Because his hands crack and bleed all the time in the winter. Whoops. D shout out to Joel. Just kind yeah. of in general. I, I get winter eczema from my mom's side of the family and my dad's side has the weird cracky shit. Um, Ooh. Yeah. That's my my body is effect. full of red spots right now because when it gets cold, my body goes, all right, time to get hives. <laughs> Aww. Or at least weird patches of red skin and I'm like, I promise I'm, I'm not icky. It just looks bad. <laughs> okay. Screaming. That's in curse. I've literally had a red patch on my my ring finger on my left hand since November. <laughs> oh and it no! Hurts. Oh, it won't no. go away. <laughs> I have been putting lotion on it. No. For Parker return. Two months. Welcome back. <laughs> Initiative roll. Not bad, Victor. Not bad. Um, and... Oh no, am I last? Oh. I thought oh, no. I was. No, Soot is lost. Soot is yeah. last. Uh, I am last. Oh. Oh, because you rolled to get on the turn order. Yeah. Okay. And um, is ahead of Victor. Step one. Going first with a nat 20 on initiative Ooh. is oh, as you guys right step in and look around. I, oh. was, I, was, I was scrolling through the bestiary earlier and I just happened to click on, you know, sort by terrain urban because i wanted to see what beasties they said were in an urban environment oh, and they said dire raccoon yes <laughs> and by god <laughs> i thought it was funnier than yes. what else could i come up with wow like so, is this like labrador sized it's 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 bigger than a normal raccoon i can read you the flavor text um sure. absolutely um it is basically just describing raccoon behavior. Oh my god! Um, ever the opportunist, these these giant uh, raccoons tend to move out of their native habitat in the forest to compost heaps and refuse piles of large cities. Food is easier to find there and in good supply. Dire raccoons are not picky, and like their smaller cousins, they are omnivorous. Rats, rotten food, even the occasional corpse are all part of the urban dire raccoon's diet. Because of its unsanitary lifestyle and questionable eating habits, dire raccoons that live in city trash heaps often carry filth fever. Um, so, they are... God. They are beasties. Um, Nasty little guys. Beasties. Um, and perhaps, ironically, um, considering what we've just established about Aya being immune to rabies, this first one is gonna come and try to bite you. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. God bless. Um, I, I, I am very glad that that did get amusement from you. Uh, well, that's a seven on the dice, so I don't think that's gonna hit you, Aya. Um, uh, even flat-footed, I have a- That's a 12, so you're, it's not gonna yeah. hit. Um, even flat-footed, I have 15. And then... Next on the odor. Where is my beautiful girl? Um, by which I mean another raccoon. <laughs> yeah. 
creature. She's hiding underneath the table, and I might not actually be able to get her. I might have to move the table to get her. It's okay. <laughs> there she is. Um, she is also gonna come attack Aya. It's not personal. It's distance. Yeah. Oh no! More things for me to kick. I know. Stop what a what a burden. What a curse. Oh, to kick. kick a stomp That's a nat 20. Oh, ouch. Um, but it doesn't really matter that much. Um, yeah, do, do I even need to roll a fortitude save against... You don't, because you're, you're immune to it. Um, yeah. So that is uh, eight points of damage. Not entirely pleasant, but I think there is something to be said for the fact that I can just, like... You, At you least the person that just flecks off whatever disease. Yeah, there's 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 little rabies in there trying to be like, I want to I want to use your nervous system so bad, and then they can't do it. Um, no. Speak speaking of Aya, um, however. Cool. Uh, my AC is about to go through the roof. God bless. What you sir? Um, as I am just going to slash and kick up. All right, um, go ahead and make your attacks on the on the raccoons. So this is a first one with the fan. That is good. That I'm going to stab up with the fan. And then the flurry is going to be a kicker. And if I hit with the kicker, I believe I can send it flying. So that's uh, the, uh, 16 on the dice, so 23 on the slash. Okay, which one is that on? Um, uh, I'll call it this one, because this is the one that can potentially target other party members. Okay, yep. Uh, 23 will hit. Uh, and I'll put the kicker on the same one and just try to send it backwards 10 feet. Uh, go and then try to follow up with a bull rush if I hit. Okay. Um, do you need to remember how that works, but we'll get to that in a second. So, this one's a kicker. Okay. For a, uh, also a 23, but the, okay. the other way, but coming at it the other uh, from a different direction. Okay, so both of them hit. Yep, so we've got a d4 and a d8. And then I can immediately do a bull rush. Okay. So uh, the fan does seven slashing. Mm -hmm. And the kicker does five bludgeoning. Okay. And then I immediately bull rush, I believe. Sorry, I'm just checking that this works the way I think it does. Yes. You get to make a bull rush attempt, or you use the attack as your bull rush attempt? I... Uh, also, I just realized I misread that, so I can only do it if I kick her twice. Uh, oh. When you hit the same creature with unarmed strikes at least twice in the same round, you can attempt a bull rush. So I cannot do that this turn, but I will be able to next turn. Fair I enough. can remember that's how that works. All right, good to know. But uh, is that your turn? Fans are out. Uh, fan is up, fighting defensively. And I'm okay. trying to piss them off. All right, good. Uh, that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. All right, it's Victor's turn. I'm gonna uh, step over I will here. Right back on the okay. All right. Uh, I'm gonna step over there, and then. Oh no, who is this? Uh, I'm thinking. Joe's on a phone call. Oh. At least I think that's what she said. Mm -hmm. I'll go ahead and cast Shield of Faith. I know I'm gonna get an attack of opportunity. You are gonna get an attack of opportunity. But I would like an extra. That's 22. Yeah, that'll hit. Wow. Okay. Mm. Damage. That's only three points of damage, but you do have to make a fortitude save. Please. Okay, and next turn my AC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, 
Fortitude, you yeah. said? Oh, that's not bad. Um, 19? 19, alright. Um, and now my AC is higher. Sexy, spicy. Uh, and since I already took the attack of opportunity, I might as well take another step. I was gonna take an attack of opportunity no matter what I did. Yeah. But. Alright, take a step. Okay. Yeah. Is that your turn? Yep. Alright. Garbled. Wow. Well. I've been told to show off what I can do. I might as well oblige. <laughs> <laughs> I want to specifically go through its square by yeah. making that acrobatics check that is an unspecified amount that I assume is contested. I don't understand. Okay, make an acrobatics check. Um... Um, oh, not good. World solid three. Woof. That's the thing, it just says I can tr attempt to use it, and I'm like, that unhelpful. Yes, move through a threatened area when it's combat maneuver. Um, you... Okay, actually... Uh, means it beats it, so you are good. Cool. Nice. Um, you successfully make your acrobatics check. Um, because I imagine in this process, I'm going to draw my sword cane, um, which I can just do because I have a quick draw. Um, mm -hmm. And as I'm moving through, I'm going to use my swift action uh, to stab because I have up close and personal. All right, go ahead and make your go ahead and make your attack roll. Uh, this one. 15. Give you the flanking okay. for this, I think even though you're in the air. I appreciate any benefit. <laughs> yeah, that will hit, I will say. Okay. Uh, so... Oh, you're attacking this one, right? Yeah. Okay, um, so... Yeah, that hits. Cool. So oh, sorry, be... what did I miss? Uh, Garble's taking his turn. Uh, how much damage is it? Yeah. Is, that, is it all the damage it, applied? It is all the damage, yes. Spicy. All right. Um, nice. You do a backflip and stab a dire raccoon while you're at it, and it dies. Yeah. That's the one that Aya had been attacking. Ah, I was not paying attention, but yes. <laughs> All right, winning. Um. Uh, and that's and... all I can do, I believe. I, I might as well just check myself. Right. Over there. And, um, brain, brain. I don't think I've used any sort of an act of my, like, actual standard action, have I? Oh, yeah, you haven't used your standard action, so you can take another attack, actually. Uh, I'm gonna do total defense, actually. I'm cool. Okay. I, I'm i scared something's gonna run at me. Raccoon's turn. Um, appearing from over here in this like corner. Sleep. <sighs> hey, so it's me. My turn. It's you. Oh, oh boy. Well, it's not your turn. It's you're getting bitten. Um, but oh you're not no. Getting bitten because I rolled a five. Um, so Yay. that's not gonna hit you no matter what. Are you sure? Because um, my AC is shit. 
Is your AC a 10? Okay, it's a 15. We're good. <laughs> okay, you're, you're, you're fine. Um, and we are going to take a 30 second break while I get my computer charger. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, dire raccoons. Uh, there's like a strip. Continuing to make my desk more fire hazard every day. <laughs> uh, I mean, didn't we make it fairly cluttered and possibly fire hazardy when I also had my laptop set up on your desk? It's fine. Dude, my my room is such a fire hazard. <laughs> the audacity of this bitch. No Pathfinder for you. No computer charging. There you go. Thank you. Alright, now we win. Now it's Burns' turn. Um, my, my, uh, my, my bull, my bolas, they, they are, they have a, t a, t a 10 foot range, okay. which means I think, I think if I, if I like step, step over, he over here, yeah, get him, get him. All right. Make your attack roll. Get him. Mmm, that's not great. F uh, f 14. Alright, that doesn't make it, unfortunately. That, that, that's okay. Alright. And, 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 and that's what I got. Okay. Soot? Hi, um, mm, boy. Um, Aaron, do any of the- send your screen drive from another chat. Do, do any of the two look particularly, like, hurt or anything? Neither of them are hurt so far. Okay, cool, cool. Um, I'm going to... Should I bring Big Dog, or should I do my fire thing? Maybe not fire in the condemned home. Um, I'm gonna- I'm gonna bring, um, Wolf mat Matchbox in here, probably. And he he gonna bite, I think. Let me check. What, what is? Yes, he is. He is wolf. Um. You like him to be. I would like him to be. Yes, there. That's good, I think. Um, and he's going to a uh, bite. Um. So I that think. would be plus four, and there it does a trip also, I believe. Okay, make your attack. Um, that would be... Oh, that's not that good. That's a 12. 12 does not hit, unfortunately. Damn. I. Um... Yeah, so that's all that happens. You don't have to do the trip thing. Chompa. Yeah. Chompa. I love that he's tilted. <laughs> He, he, I wanted to point his mouth at the raccoon. <laughs> yes! <laughs> That's so cute. Um, My boy. This guy, Garbled, is going to now try to bite you. Mm hmm. And roll bad. Uh, I'm assuming a 12 doesn't hit you. <clears throat> no, it does not. Yeah. Can't roll for shit. Curse of bad rolls today. Some bad rolls today. I... Well, I was gonna 
try to kick it like away, but now Garvold's there, so I guess I'm just gonna slash and kick her. Slash and kick her, go ahead and make your attacks. We have got a... Sorry. Eventually I will remember what my modifiers are. We have a 17 for the slash and a 19 for the kicker. Okay. Um, the counting flanking bonuses? No, not counting flanking bonuses. Okay, so including flanking bonuses, those both hit. Okay. Sorry, a d4 and a d8. There's the d8 that matches the set. I need to get some higher dice at some point. Ooh. Yes. So, six slashing, nine kicker. And those are defensive, so my AC stays at nice and high. Yeah, because there's nothing I can justify doing in a swift action right now. All right, um, take care. Um, I think I want. Like... No, that hit my friend. Um. Oh. oh, done hit my friend there. I am going to cast a new spell. Okay. Ooh. Uh, called Sound Burst. Oh, I know this spell. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I need the two little Victor guys. Is also screaming? Uh I think it's more she claps her hands together. Yes. Um, and so four fortitude two. saves, they're going to automatically. Okay, one of them got a nat 20 on their fourth save. And the other the other one rolled a five, so that is... That one's a failure. A failure. Uh, so they are both, however, going to take five points of sonic damage, and one of them is stunned for a round. Okay. Um... the damage again? Five. Five? Sonic. Sonic damage. Sonic. Um, Victor claps her hands and the the shockwave um, sort of is a is a burst in the center of the room and just barely avoids you so you sort of feel the pressure bend the brim of your hat and it doesn't reach you. Uh, something Yo. stops it and one of the raccoons uh, just sort of keels over. Um, nice. Garmold, the one right in front of you, uh, is dead. Well, that's unfortunate. Um, I, I mean, why not pull the same trick twice? I'm just going to run over here and just try and go through the raccoon. Right. Through the raccoon again. Make a acrobatics. Fifteen. All right, because it's the same CMB because they're the same stat block, so it still works. With a three and a four. And we're gonna get a mark from one garbled. We're gonna get that. Uh, we're gonna get another stab, hopefully. That's a bit more of a certainty. Yeah, for sure. Go ahead and yeah, that's. All that damage, spicy. Precision, precision damage is fun. Yeah. How alive okay. is this? It's um not, in fact. <laughs> it would have, it would have even been. Yeah. Okay. Well, love loses. Um. <laughs> Good. I'm like, this is a CR6 encounter, this is appropriate. Um, you guys are CR5, but there's a bunch of you. Uh, well. I, I think 
some of the reason that they have that high CR is the like they give a really fucked up disease. <laughs> this is part of it. Um My raccoons, no. <laughs> <laughs> um you've solved my raccoon puzzle. The these don't seem like they were magic. They, they were just creatures. They Big. were just creatures, which means for for what you what you're being paid for it, like it's a good deal, actually. Yeah. Um, like three hundred and thirty gold for three. Like, they're not inherently magical. They're just like raccoons with problems. You know, that's what <laughs> that's what dire creatures are. Oh. They take a regular animal and you add problems to it. Um, yeah, 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 it's man. just a dog-sized raccoon with problems. Uh, it's like, oh, buddy. Oh, you got problems buddy, disorder. I appreciate you. You were absolutely carrying rabies. Um, you were so sorry, jacked. Sorry, I had to. Sorry, I had to kill you, but the rabies. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. But the rabies. But the rabies. Okay, the rabies. you've successfully killed three rabid dire raccoons. Um, uh, nice. Nice. Winning. Winning. Uh, um, and, and Garble held his own in combat. Mm -hmm. Oops. I didn't mean to yeah, do that. Yeah, definitely oh. displaying a bit more proficiency than the last time. Bless. Less like a bartender with a corkscrew and more like a guy with a cane sword. Mm -hmm. Which he will wipe off and put away back into its cane. We didn't. Mm, never mind. Oh. Victor is going to look at you, Garvold, as things are like. She's going to go, someone like get their ears or something. Um, Over the tail? Garvold. Yes. You sure didn't mention any combat training this morning. Not professional like that. Oh, did that seem professional? Oh, I just... Honestly, I kind of just treat it like a little bit of a performance, like with bartending. A little bit of show never hurts. That sure is an interesting way to think of it. Yeah, you sure get an eyebrow raise. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm just gonna keep saying very slightly suspicious things. God. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Right. You guys can easily. I'm not gonna make you roll for like the tails or anything. Mm -hmm. Um, you can get the tails. Can, um, and can, can I check the house uh, if I... there's anything of interest in yeah. here? <laughs> yeah, make a perception check. I wanted to check for possibly any other raccoons. <laughs> make a raccoon check. Raccoon check. Yeah! <laughs> okay, what's a raccoon check? A perception check. I figured, oh, but you also might have decided, like, oh yeah, it's knowledge nature. Uh, raccoon checks are actually appraised checks, and I will not <laughs> Um, Yo, yeah, I'd be no, so right. good at that. Holy shit! Give me a raccoon check. So I'll make, blow you out of the water. <laughs> so make a so make an appraise check. That's actually a raccoon check. Okay. What? Sure. I'll I'll roll my appraise next. I just Jesus. I just think it's funny. Um, that's an eight plus f or uh a fourteen plus eight. What the fuck is that? Um. All right. Twenty two. Uh, that's a twenty two. Twenty-two raccoon check. Um, and by God, apart from the dead ones, um, you don't see any signs of further raccoon checks or further raccoons. <laughs> the checks, who's to say? Um, and yeah, so you guys uh, search around, and uh, going up to the upper floor of this building seems like, incredibly ill-advised. Um, what was a staircase is definitely uh, not functional anymore, and though you can probably climb up to get I mean, it, you just don't. If we really want to check it out, I can, like, air walk up there. Because I am confident enough in my ability to avoid harm when falling. 
<laughs> maybe we don't. Maybe maybe not go up there because maybe the the stuff above us will fall down, like the second floor. I don't really want you to fall yeah. through the floor. <laughs> they might make us pay for it. <laughs> You're gonna turn it down anyway. He shrugs. Never underestimate the power of bureaucracy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You never know what they'll make you pay for. <laughs> but you do not find raccoons or otherwise um, in your in your scan of the building um and you guys are able to take a little uh walk back to the city inspection office and talk to mr ford and get um, your 330 as promised well while we're walking i might ask if someone can heal the massive fucking bite because even though it didn't give her rabies it is like a massive fucking bite in her leg and she's just like this is you do be having a dire raccoon bite is the thing go odds oh, or evens they're... evens burn's not healing you and so yeah, we'll walk not... up to you Uh, I think I can probably handle this. I'm gonna do my burning hands, except I'm gonna do the thing where it does, um, the healing part of it. Because of- Um, you cast- You cast burning hands, um, roll your damage. So that would be 5d4. Oh, d4s. Fuck, I'm gonna just use the roller and- as soon as flame starts, you watch Aya start, and like there is a moment where you can tell she's about to kick you in the face, but is holding it back by no, this is soot. I trust soot. So that would be it's six points as, of healing. It's not as well like um full blown. Like it's not like soot is casting burning hands on you. It's almost more like there is a a burning glow that starts inside his palms and like lights up the whole of his hands, and then he directs that energy towards you. Um, and you tense a little bit, but you feel a nice. Um, it's 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 not a burn. It's a yeah. nice soothing warmth on your leg, and you heal six points of damage. Yeah. The, the, you can kind of a head cock at that. Like, she's making a mental note. Um, and I really wish I hadn't sent that letter to Ivor already, because this would be definitely making it into that letter. <laughs> so it just True. gives you, like, a, a... He gives you a grin, and he just kind of, like, rubs the back of his neck, and he's like, didn't exactly know if that would work, but I figured it might. <laughs> Very much appreciated. He nods. Just kind of shakes his hands out a little bit. They probably feel a bit tingly. <laughs> and pick up your reward. Did I already say that you did that? Yeah. Okay, you, you mm -hmm. get your 330 gold. Um, do, we wanna, do we want to put the 30 gold in, in party loot? Or in uh it's still not it's still not an even split with three hundred. Oh, okay. Sorry. The adder wasn't there. What? Technically what? adder wasn't there, so but it's six way. if it if we're not including adder, then it's six way, then fuck it. Don't have to include adder. <laughs> we yeah, we yeah, share the yeah. same pocket of money <laughs> for now. Mm -hmm. So fifty each with thirty in party funds? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'll put the 30 in party funds. I just had that open. Breaking back my insane bribe amount. God bless. Slowly but surely. How much did you spend on that bribe again? A hundred gold. Might have been overkill. It got him to shut up. <laughs> yeah, that's true. 
you guys can head out from the inspection office, uh, divvying up your gold as you desire. Um, and then... Hey, hey remind is, me, what was the inspection office dude's name? Uh, Mr. Ford. Did we get a first name? Actually, honestly, no, Mr. Ford is probably good enough because being able to go, yeah, we were sent by Mr. Ford from the inspector's office. Um, his first name is Harrison, in case you were curious. It was on his name play outside his door. But of course like, it was. Ford is a... or, I mean, to or... be fair, I, I was expecting it to be um, Nathan, so... <laughs> Nathan is... We each get Leverage. 50, right? Is that what you said? Uh, yeah, 50 yeah, we each get 50. Okay, thank you. Um, my other option was Henry. <laughs> yeah. Um, Don't bring God him. Do you understand? I need to run a scam in. Henry. Cameron? Yes. Oh, yeah? That, that, that now we have an official name we can draw. You do know, you do know the end, and you do have. To be fair, your your current permit is for, you know, a particular condemned building um, and on a particular date. But now you know what a city permit looks like in terms of... <laughs> oh, Victor's keeping it. Yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm just handing you more tools for your stupid little screwdriver toolbox. Um, <gasps> yes. We get more screwdrivers. Oh, oh Garvold hasn't seen this yet. <laughs> oh, he will. Um... But yeah, I will probably participate. <laughs> the, the afternoon is yours. Um, it's probably a little late in the day to head out on the cockatrice job, considering as it's half a day out of town, it would definitely be dark by the time you got out there, and you don't really feel like dealing with that in the dark. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then having mm -hmm. to come back. Mm -hmm. and then having to come back. It would not be the most convenient. Um, so that's probably a tomorrow problem. But the rest of the day, what are y'all up to? Victor is pacing. I mean, it is business hours, so I could go drop in on the snake again. You could go drop in on the snake. If you uh... so desire. Um, I'm assuming you guys have made it back to the inn. Um, I want to tell stories for money. <laughs> I I have something, but if other people want to go first, no, you go ahead. My, mine's just like I'll I'll take cash at the end of the night to tell some drunk people some stories. <laughs> go ahead, make a make a storytelling check. Uh, Hell so yeah. I can address that in text. Mm hmm. Uh, P PK, should I talk to Victor right now, or will it hit different if I wait? I think it's... I think it is likely to hit similarly now, as as well as it would later. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I'll let, I'll let everyone else go first. I mean, um, I'm good not RPing out the encounter, uh, the second encounter with the Naga's Arcana person. Yeah. Uh, Maya is trying to sort of show up and be friend-shaped and, um, and possibly be like, hey, here are some good business practices. Uh, they, she hasn't figured out how to broach the union talk yet. They are pleased to see you. They tell you that they enjoyed sleeping last night, and, um, they, um, Oh my god. They, um, would be happy to sit, um, and tell you about objects and items in the shop, if you would like. Yes. Um, and, and a couple customers do come in, and you, they do sort of they seem to be getting a little bit more confident in their first try of pricing things mm -hmm. um, than they were the first time you met them. Not always, but some of the time. Um, yeah. And, they're doing you know, so good. They're, they're doing pretty well. You're, you're pleased to see them. They're pleased to see you. It's a good, it's a good little time. And 
So with your storytelling, you are able to earn um, five GP. Yeah. Um, Pocket change. Six. Pocket change. <laughs> I have a plus 12. <laughs> you said five. Did you say five or six GP? I can't remember now. Five. Five. Thank you. Anybody yeah. else have activities? Basically, I'm just looking at Garbled, I guess, because I know Fern wants to go next, and I, I know Victor's pacing. Mm hmm Come on. Oh, is, is Matt still BRB? Might be. Yes, I believe, I believe Matt is still BRB. All right, Fern's turn. Okay. Burn's gonna concentration Burn's gonna seek out Victor. Victor in her room? Yeah, she's mostly in her room. Right. I'll knock on the door. Who is it? Burn. She stops pacing for 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 a second. I'd like to speak Go. with you, but if you are not in the mood, I understand. Go, ma'am. Burn comes in. Victor is so normal and chill. That shuts the door behind them. I was wondering. If I could share a secret with you. If you'd like. Hmm. But I do need you to promise first that you're not going to tell the rest of our traveling companions. I know how to keep a secret, Fern. I trust that you do. So, I'm going to say what I'm going to say, and I'll let you know when I'm finished. Does that sound alright to you? Because right. really, it's 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 a little bit of a. I have, I have several things I need to say, and I'd rather you not interrupt me, because without the full picture, it is not going to come across correctly. Victor kind of rolls her shoulders a little bit and, like, sits down in, like, the little chair, you know, that they have in, in in-rooms and such. And just... Yes. <sighs> All right. You... I, I am sure you remember our first conversation that we had, um, just the two of us. And I am sure that you recall the request you made of me, which was to, how did you phrase it, tamp down the effect that I tend to have on others. And uh, first, I must admit to you, I did not do this. However, it was because you made a very naive request in asking me to do so. And, I, well, you know, of, of course, you do not have the full context, and I do not hold it against you that you made such a request. But you do not have the full context of why that is a, a bad idea for me to do so because it is something that I have done very much in the past and when I stop doing so or when I become no longer able to do so the effect that I have on others tends to get worse and and the control I have of it as well 
is much less. And I figured, you know, you do not want me directing this effect at you. And, and, and if I do your request, I, I am much more likely to direct this towards you. And I figured it would, it would be best for the both of us if I did not follow your request. And I do apologize for not telling you at the time, but I figured it would not go over very well. But we've been traveling for much longer. Now, that, that is not necessarily a secret, but here is the secret that I have to tell you. Right now, I am following your request. And when I am done doing so, the consequences may have an effect on you. And I am just giving you a warning because I admit, it's for purely selfish reasons. I'd rather like to not be stabbed by a traveling companion. I rather like everyone else that we're traveling with. And and if you were to stab me, I would have no choice but to leave everyone. And, and I'd rather not do that. So I'm, I am warning you, when, when I am no longer doing as you ask, I am sure that it will not be very fun for you. And I end, well, I only sort of apologize. I'll, I'll be apologetic when I, I am done being unfriendly. And that is my secret. It is... She is largely sort of... I might as well just turn camera on. <laughs> <laughs> As you were going through this spiel, she's just kind of like hand in front of her mouth like this. Just kind of like watching you talk. And then as you finish, it sort of... Hmm. And it's very much like that you've been around her enough that it's like the feeling as as she is putting puzzle pieces in place. Like she's examining you and finding like you know what I mean? Yeah. It's not necessarily a comforting feeling. Oh, I didn't think it would be. <laughs> and there's a long pause. All right. I'll see. I get it. If you are worried about the rest of the party also experiencing the effect, when I am no longer choosing to be unfriendly, I am going to warn them as well. However, I figured you'd rather know in advance as when when it stops, when when it all explodes out of me, if you will, the people um, who do not like me very much, unfortunately, bear the brunt of it. And well, I I am worried that it may affect you before I get got a chance to tell everyone. Yeah, I follow the logic. 
I think it is a good idea to inform them. I will. When it is relevant to them. But right now it is frankly not. And, and frankly, I have... There are several people we are traveling with currently I have no interest in speaking to. Head tilt again. And, uh, frankly, I didn't really have an interest in speaking to you either, but I figured you are the one who should know, as you are the one who has expressed the most displeasure with me. Hmm. Thank you. Victor, no problem. You are looking at Fern mm -hmm. in this moment as they're speaking. You see, their hair had already begun fading, changing color. You've noticed that mm -hmm. yesterday. As they speak to you, it seems like more of the color is bleaching out and fading away. It's very pale. I've said my piece. There's still that feeling of examination in a jar, almost. <laughs> I think I have a grasp on the situation. Yeah. I'll keep... I'll keep an eye out for myself. Hmm. I'm sure you will. Thing I can assure you that when you choose to be friendly again, I ain't gonna forget this. Oh, I didn't think you would. But then again. Even when I am friendly again, I'm not necessarily going to forget the murder of my friend, am I? Hmm. No. I'm not going to insult you with defense. 
I appreciate it. I very much did. And I, you know, I don't. I'm, I'm glad you're not because frankly, I'm not interested. Anything else you'd like to say or should I take my leave? Did I take that as a no? I'm thinking. Hmm. I'm neither going to insult you with a defense nor debase myself with an apology. I didn't think you'd do the latter either. But here's what I'll give you. Ah. Uh, spearheaded many of the conversations with Chris. I was threatening where I should have been diplomatic. I dismissed him due to my own personal biases and distractions. There are a number of facts I forgot again due to this dis the number of distractions. He will not awake for it. But I did cast the final spell. I did not hold on to him when he went out of the window. I'm aware of every single one of these. Yes. And they're unacceptable. I understand. There will be no defense. There will be no apology. I'm asking instead. Or perhaps a moment for course correction. Hmm. Acknowledge. Understood. I believe that that would perhaps be beneficial to the both of us in addition to those we travel with. And I... Well... No. One last thing you should know, Fern. Mm -hmm. I am going to live for a very long time. And mm -hmm. I am aware 
I'm going to spend the rest of my life looking over my shoulder for a quasi-immortal assassin that can hold decades of grudges. I suppose I could put in a good word. That's not going to work, and you know that. I do, but... Well... When he comes to try to claim my life again, he'll have a right to it. That doesn't mean I ain't going to put up a fight. Understood. Anything else, I'm ready to take my leave. Not if you don't have anything. I do not. Thank you for... Thank you, Victor. And all peace. Alright. Fern. You mm -hmm. return to your room. You sit down on the bed. And outside your in room window, there is a large delicate spider web spanning the entire window frame. Wow. <laughs> you do not see a spider. You do not see a spider's prey. What you do see, however, is a wasp. Buzzing and circling, weaving in and out through the intricate patterns of the web. You watch it for a moment, maybe two as it flies, and you see it circling around. For just a minute before it lands in the center of the web. But rather than sticking, struggling, becoming ensnared and entangled in the fine thread, it takes to it as easy as a spider to its own silk. Tiny, delicate feet stepping along the web, out sticking, stopping, and it navigates the woven intersections as you use them very well. You do not know how long you watch the wasp in the web. You're there for a while. Eventually it leaves and flies away. And the web still clings to the Oh my and god. That, I think is where we are going to call session because it's 11:08 and uh, Oh my god. <laughs>